Hey everyone, it's your girl Regina and Happy New Year! Can you believe we have not spoken since the new year began? I know, I've been crazy busy. I'm pretty sure you have too. But I hope all of you were able to ring in the new year happily and most importantly, safely. Now, I don't know how many of you have started a new year resolution, whether it be to eat right, lose weight, or start working out more. But whatever it is, can we agree to change the name from resolution to lifestyle change? I don't know. For some reason, when you start a resolution, it is just bound to fail. So let's just say it's a lifestyle change because we're trying to improve our lives each and every year, just a little bit, right? So with that being said, I think we need to talk about um, the way that our body works and things that a lot of us need to know. And in that, I spoke to Dr. Renata Borgato. Side note, she is fabulously informed. This woman, we talked for hours, but she's having a lecture tomorrow um, around 11 o'clock. So if you haven't signed up yet, make sure you go onto the website and sign up. But she's having a lecture about insulin resistance. And if you're saying to yourself, oh, I don't have a problem with diabetes. Why do I need to know about insulin resistance? <laughs> I, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, but I will share with you a little bit of our conversation. So pay attention to this. And when it's done, make sure you go right to the website and sign up. Me tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Regina. So we're in the middle of so many things. We have um, the pandemic going on, Black Lives Matter, and you want to talk about insulin resistance. Why is this important really right now? You know, through the pandemic, I have, I, I, it's never been more um, evident to me the power of mind over matter um, and how having a lack of control of our health and wellness um, can actually cause disease. Um, you know, I've seen people in the COVID pandemic start to feel like they're developing symptoms of COVID, um, just even from a hearing of somebody else being exposed. Um, and it's, it's, made me more attuned to say, listen, we need to be able to bring health and wellness back into the hands of ourselves uh, so that we can regain that health, wellness, confidence, um, and mental capacity to um, do the right thing so that heaven forbid we get COVID, it's a mild illness and we recover and we do well and we have no long-term effects. What do you think we need to know about insulin resistance? Like if I were to say, I'm a healthy person, there's nothing wrong with me. Should I be worried about it? You know, insulin resistance, unfortunately, is something I think we all need to keep on the forefront. About one in seven Americans have diabetes type two, which is essentially the end pathway of insulin resistance. However, one in four Americans has insulin resistance, which is a, that's, that's, that is a very large number. And it matters because we can stop insulin resistance in its tracks so that we don't develop a chronic disease that has very high morbidity and mortality associated with it, which is type two diabetes. So we don't want to get there. Um, we want to give people tools so that they can control their life and they can hear insulin resistance, or they could don't even get on the path of insulin, re insulin resistance and that they can, um, they can take control of their wellness. So what are some of the things that you're going to go over in your um, conversation on Thursday? So anybody who's ever heard a lecture from me, I find it very important to be able to teach people um, about the pathway of disease. So I start every lecture with our basic anatomy 101. And even if you failed science um, or you were a, you are a scientist or a doctor, it is applicable to everybody who listens to the lecture and is a super important piece. So first I start with where insulin is made, what does it do, what's its function? And then I progress to how does insulin become dysfunctional? How does blood sugar become dysfunctional? And those are important because again, it gives you the tools to understand in our own lives to say, where am I in this pathway and how can I stop it? And then we'll move forward and talk about the uh, effects of insulin resistance on the body. Uh, and then most importantly, we'll talk about what things that we can do uh, to either treat it, reverse it, um, or avoid it altogether. Anything else you'd like to add? You know, insulin resistance is only one piece uh, of the puzzle for all of us in feeling well 
you know, our, our goal on this earth is not just longevity, but is a good quality of life. And when you have chronic disease that's causing chronic inflammation, you don't feel well. And the time that you're here, you can't spend doing things that you want to do, uh, spending time with energy, um, you know, doing good in your community, uh, working and being successful. And this is there are very small things that we can do on our daily health journey in order to enhance how we feel so that we can succeed in all of those. Um, that's my goal here is to be able to teach you how to help yourself so that at a time that you have to come to somebody like me, um, I don't have to intervene much and I just have to make small tweaks. Uh, and it'll give you the power and uh, a lot of the feeling of self-confidence and self-control uh, to uh, dictate which way your life is going to go. Well, I for one look forward to your lecture. I always hear great things about every time you speak. So thank you so much. And I look thank forward you. to it. Thanks, Regina. I appreciate it. Me too.